Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Marhar Hide Short. It's part of their experimental division, if you will. And you can tell that by the tail shape on this board and how it looks like Bart Simpson's head or the super chopped and blunted out nose. This board features Marhar's hybrid camber all-terrain directional freestyle, which is flat between the feet with camber underfoot. That's gonna give you independent camber zones to load and snap with it, but you're gonna get a little bit more stability between the feet. This board is only available in 149. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a day that had overcast skies, there was some light snow falling, there was fresh snow, perfect corduroy, chunder, ice, kinda of just a mix of all conditions. And I wrote it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board has a middle of the road, all mountain freestyle flex. What you do get is stiffer sections right where the camber is, so right where the inserts are, and then more play out in the tip and the tail and right between the feet with a lot of torsional give. Basically, this board is very playful, but stable right underfoot and only right underfoot. Now that stability comes from the added width of this board as well. And on groomers, you get a little bit of chatter in the nose and it does slightly resonate underfoot. But in really rutted out terrain, this is where this board just gets bucked around. You just feel everything with it. It's one of those boards that just, it's pushing you from one side of the mountain to the other. You just feel like you're trying to stay on top of it. The pop is there in this board and you do have those independent camber zones to load up and engage with. It loads easily enough, you don't feel like you're fighting it and the rebound's there, but it's nothing really noteworthy. You put a little more effort into it, sure you're going to get a little more pop. Now I did hit one tiny little jump with it, it got the job done, it wasn't anything that I'd really write home about, but then again I really don't feel like that's what this board is designed for. So if you're looking for something that you're gonna go send jumps with, this definitely isn't it. The ideal sweet spot to butter with this board is directly outside the inserts, right where the camber comes down. That's where you wanna get your weight so it's leveraged just a little bit out over it and it's gonna lock in. You'll notice that there's a little spring and snap but nothing overwhelming that's going to force you to just stay on top of everything. What you do have is this immense flat spot and blunted out nose as well as a flat spot into these stabby points in the tail. That's gonna really let you swivel and sizzle, but what you have to watch out for is how abrupt those points are out at the nose or on the tail. They can catch, which will redirect you, so be aware of that. When it comes to jibbing, same thing. You want your weight just outside the insert packs. It's gonna lock in, you're gonna feel secure on that, and you're gonna get that spring you want out of the feature. Nose or tail presses, doesn't really matter. When you get sideways, that flat section actually cradles around the feature and you feel it slightly hug it and lock in. So you don't have to worry about this being one of those boards that just sort of balances on top of it due to the camber profile. It really does hug it. With the added width of this board and the camber profile, you really don't have to worry about booting out, which is nice because it steers directly underfoot. That's where it locks in and that's how you engage it. You're not steering it out at the contact point, and you're really not driving it off the far end of the tail. You're pretty much steering from right in here on this thing. When it is on edge, it feels locked in, you feel secure, you don't feel like it's going to wash out or anything like that. It's really ideal for short, tight, quick turns or those long swooping drawn out carves that take you from one side of the run back to the other. Sure, you can get into those tight, medium, aggressive carves where you get deep and low on the board, but when you do that, you'll start to notice that it sometimes kicks out a little bit or that you'll overpower it due to the flex of the board. So who's this board for? Someone that wants a unique deck that's more of a talking point than a true all-mountain freestyle board. I mean, if you look at the actual shape of this board, it's gonna turn heads and people are gonna ask you questions about it. So one of the things that I wanna mention is that this does have a full wrap metal edge. In the tail back here with all the cutouts, that is a full metal edge as well as on the nose on that super blunted out area. That's really unique. This board is a talking point board. Is it gonna be for everyone? No, 
Is there someone that's going to actually buy this? Probably. They only sell it direct on their website. But Marhar makes a lot of great boards like the Lumberjack over here. So if this isn't your cup of tea and the price definitely drives you away from it, look at one of their other boards. This is part of their experimental division and just to see what they can actually do. Why am I reviewing it? Because I wrote it and because they sell it and it's something unique. Is this something I'm gonna recommend to people? No, no, definitely not. But it's there, you can buy it, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Comparable boards, the Ride War Pig, the Telos Backslash, the Lib Short Wide. This has been my review of the Marhar Hide Short. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and just help us grow out the channel, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.